Okay, so this question D is actually fairly difficult, but let's just look, look at what we've done so far. Um, we have um, we have C and D. We worked out the bearings of each one, so we worked out the um, and we looked at the distance as well. Um, is that yeah? That is one of our tool, one of our lines. Um, find out the three figure bearing, and it actually helps you in the question. Look, three figure. So we need to do three, use three figures from of D from C. So in other words, that angle there is seventy five degrees. When I just write the angle, I don't need to write zero seven five, but <clears throat> that's the angle. Uh, it then says that um, E is southeast of uh, of C. So we need to draw E. Um, well, we don't have to draw it for the for, for for this question, but it just asks you to work out what the bearing would be there. Well, it's going to be. Um, oh, hang on, let me just flip that around. It's going to be halfway between east and south. East is ninety degrees. South is one hundred and eighty degrees. So the halfway point is one three five. So it's going to be in this direction. I'm going through one three five. Um, if I move the no, if I move the protractor, the protractor out of the way, I can see that uh, I've got the line to show me where E is. It's going to be. I just know it's in this direction. I don't know whereabouts on this line it is. I just know it's in this direction. However, it also tells me that E is also on a bearing of one hundred and ninety degrees from D. So, um, yeah, so basically, if I have this one here, and it says there's 190 degrees from D, well, if we go 180 degrees, that'll take us to vertically underneath, it'll take us to the south. So we need to go another 10 degrees, um, so I need to rotate this. And then move it back there. Uh, that looks about right. So I need to go another 10 degrees, which means it's going to be this direction. So this tells me that the, uh, was it point E? I think it was point E is... Um, Move that. Oh. oh my god, this is really irritating. Okay, there we go. So it's somewhere on this line, and it's also somewhere on the other pink line, which means it must be at this point here. So we can draw our cross. And and then we can label it. That's point E. So that's a little bit like a related topic, uh, low keying constructions where you're kind of working things out using protractors. And, but you, the, uh, this is using, uh, yeah, using protractors and well, they actually, you, you tend to use uh, compasses there. So uh, this is a similar sort of skill. Anyway, that's how to do that question.